And so this is what we're resorted to, a divider. I had to have them specially made. I have two because I have two, uh, two twin tanks. Um, and I thought, well, if I get one for one, I may as well get for the other. So we have Beast on one side by the name of Troy. And we have, thanks to Mike, the meatballs on the other side, which are my two pearl scales. It's the first time they've been, um, or I've needed to put a divider in the tank, but uh, Troy wouldn't leave the pearl scales alone. And uh, they were living in a breeder box for a few weeks until my order came through. Once it came through, I made a few little mistakes with the sizes and we needed to make an alteration. I don't know if you can see it, but here is the, the high point and then I had to allow for this supporting glass. Um, I measured to under this glass here when I should have measured to under this one here. So it was a few more days again before I could release them into the water. Um, but they did get a 100% water change and um, we're now, as far as I'm concerned, as happy as Larry. Uh, as you can see, Troy is still trying to have a go at them. He was constantly trying to have a go at them in QT, even whilst they were in the breeder box. Um, the pearl scales have shown signs of stress, like the little blonde one up there. It's got um, blood streaks in its tail. It's looking a little raggedy, um, as this, this little meatball down here. So, hopefully from this point forward, everybody's got enough elbow room. And um, we'll start mending health to full potential. So we'll see how we go. But that's us. So we have Troy and the meatballs. Thanks for watching.